Yat Eshe, Sam Stevens in Shia. I'm from the Navajo Nation. Uh uh in Shlo Bilagana Bushes Chin, uh Tobana Shit Shay, I'm Bilagana Edition Nala. Uh I'm the new student services manager at the American Indian Institute at Mesa Community College, and I'm really excited to uh, be here today. Uh, I grew up in uh, Crystal, New Mexico, which is a little community on the Navajo Nation. Uh, I attended Mesa in 1999. Uh, I was a student here, uh, transferred to Arizona State University, uh, graduated from there, and I went back to the reservation. I taught school there for a couple years. Uh, went to grad school after that. Uh, attended a master's program at UC Berkeley. Graduated from there in 2007, and I worked at Arizona State University prior to coming to Mesa. I was an advisor uh, in the College of Letters and Sciences and the Fulton Schools of Engineering. Um, and I came to Mesa as a program advisor uh, eight years ago. I'm, I'm a product of this uh, American Indian Institute. Uh, the late Loretta Damon was uh, my advisor here when I was a student. Uh, she always encouraged me to come back and, and work at Mesa. Um, and she even said, hey, you know, I think that you need to run this department at one point. And, and I guess it's, it's happened. Uh, I value the mentorship of Garrison Tom McCara, who was the original founder of the American Indian Institute back in the 80s. Um, have a really, really good relationship with him. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see where we go with this because uh, I'm a product of Mesa Community College. I'm a product of the American Indian Institute. Um, I understand where these students are coming from, uh, from a very kind of real perspective, and the challenges that they face in, in getting college education. So the American Indian Institute is located in building 36N uh, in the Thunderbird Student Success Center just north of the bookstore on the Southern and Dobson campus. Um, if you're new, come by. We'd love to see you. We've got advisors there to help you out. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's a great place for hanging out, for studying. We've got a computer lab there. There's a, it's a fun atmosphere. So um, if you're looking for a place to connect with students uh, who are similar as you are um, for, for student clubs, we're, we're there for you. Uh, we're also connected to the International Education Office, which is right next to us. We have a great relationship with them, um, as well as the TRIO Support Center and the uh, Career Center. So come on by. So one of the things that I really want to focus on uh, moving forward is uh, building collaborative relationships with the faculty. I, I, I think I've got pretty strong uh, relationships with uh, a lot of support services across campus, but a lot of the success of students comes when they're engaged uh, more with their faculty. and, and a lot of that engagement comes when faculty understand the students from their perspective. They understand where they're coming from. They understand their cultural beliefs and, and the challenges that they're trying to overcome to get a college education. From that perspective, I really just want to continue to build those relationships across the campus, throughout the community, uh, engage community businesses, organizations to support our students. Um, we want to create scholarship funds to, to help students in need. I think that's one of the uh, pressing issues that has come up as we've gone through this COVID experience is the need not to just have tuition paid for, but for students to have living expenses and housing issues addressed. And those are some of the specifics that we want to focus on moving forward from a collaborative partnership with community members, with community organizations, with faculty members, get the administration behind us. I think that um, we're, in a, we're in a place right now where the voices that um, are at the table can be heard. Uh, there's, there's a lot of changes that are happening at MCC and uh, this is an exciting part of uh, my career at MCC uh, moving forward.